टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अवर लेसन नंबर वन मुकेश स्टार्ट्स अ जू देर वॉज अ बॉय नेम्ड मुकेश हु वेंट टू दिल्ली टू विजिट द जू विथ हिज पेरेंट्स ही वॉज सरप्राइज टू सी मेनी कलरफुल बर्ड्स एंड ही गॉट अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द रेप्टाइल्स चार्म्ड बाय द गिबंस एंड चिन्स एंड ऑस्ट्रक बाय द लाइन्स टाइगर्स एंड लेपर्ड्स देर वॉज नो जू इन द टाउन ऑफ देहरा वेर ही लिवड As soon as he got home, he decided to have a zoo of his own. I'm going to start a zoo, he announced at breakfast the day after his return. But you don't have any birds or animals, said Dolly, his little sister. I'll soon find them, said Mukesh. That's what a zoo is all about, collecting animals. He was looking for a longer time at the white wash wall of the veranda. where a gecko was in pursuit of a fly a little later mukesh was trying to catch the lizard but it was more alert than he than it looked and always managed to keep a few inches ahead of his grasp that is not the way to catch a lizard said teju appearing on the veranda steps teju and his sister koki lived next door you catch it then said mukesh Teju fetched a stick from the garden. He used to use the stick to tip the lizard off the wall and into a shoebox. "You will be my head keeper," said Mukesh. And soon he and Teju were at work in the back garden setting up enclosures with a roll of wire netting they had found in the poultry shed. "What else can we have in the zoo?" asked Teju. This your grandmother's parrot said Mukesh that's a good idea but we won't tell her about it not now i don't think she would lend it to us you see it's a religious parrot she taught it lots of prayers and chants then people are sure to come and listen to it they'll pay too what else can we have well There's my dog," said Mukesh. "But a dog isn't a zoo animal. Mine is. It's wild. Look, it's black all over, and it's got yellow eyes. Koki has a white rabbit. Will she lend it to us? I don't know. Maybe we can rent it from her. And there's Sita Ram's donkey." Sita Ram the washerman's son usually used a donkey to deliver and collect the laundry from the houses along the street Do you really want a donkey asked Teju doubtfully I have heard of a wild ass but not a wild donkey Well they are related to each other Why don't we paint black stripes on it and call it a zebra No that's cheating it's got to be a proper zoo no tricks it's a it's not a circus On sa- Saturday afternoon a large placard placed on the jackfruit tree announced the opening of the zoo children were allowed in free but grown ups had to buy tickets at 50 paise each and koki and dolly were selling homemade tickets to the occasional passer by a parent who happened to look in the first attraction was a packing case filled with an assortment of house lizards they looked rather sluggish having been generously fed with a supply of insects then came an enclosure in which koki's white rabbit was on display freshly washed and brushed it looked very cuddly Star- staring at it with evil intent from behind the wire netting was mukesh's dog rare black dog with yellow eyes read the notice on its enclosure tethered to a ma- mango tree was the donkey with a placard saying wild ass from kutch everyone recognized it as the washerman's beast of burden every now and then it tried to break loose for it was long past its feeding time There was also a duck that did not seem to belong to anyone 
and a small cow that had strayed in on its own but the star attraction was a parrot as it could recite three different prayers it was surrounded by a group of admiring parents while mukesh and teju were escorting visitors around the zoo koki and dolly were all were doing quick business at the ticket counter they had collected about 10 rupees when there was a disturbance in the enclosures the dog had dug itself out of its enclosure and was now busy trying to dig its way into the rabbit's compartment the rabbit was running round and round in panic stricken circles meanwhile the donkey finally snapped the rope that held it and braying loudly scattered the spectators and made for home koki rushed to the rescue of her rabbit and had it cradled in her arms the dog now turned its attention to the duck the duck flew over the packing case while the dog landed in it scattering the lizards in all directions in all this confusion no one noticed that the door of the parrot's cage had slipped open with a squawk and whir of wings the bird shot out of the cage and flew off into a nearby orchard the parrot's gone shouted dolly and immediately a silence fell upon them even the dog stopped barking how could they possibly face granny teju wondered if she would believe him if he told her it had flown off to heaven what can we do he asked tearfully the crowd fell away unwilling to share any of the blame koki was too upset to suggest anything but mukesh had an idea we'll get another one with the 10 rupees we have collected from the tickets he said all these hill parrots look alike so they hurried off to the bazaar and bought a parrot not unlike granny's granny who was short sighted did not notice the substitution but she complained bitterly that the bird had stopped repeating its prayers and was instead making rude noises and swearing teju soon remediated this sad state of affairs every morning he stood in front of the parrot's cage and repeated granny's prayers within a few weeks the bird had learned to repeat one of them granny was happy again not only because the parrot had started praying but also because teju had started praying